Hello and welcome. My name is Van. Welcome to today's tutorial on working backwards. Oops, I just <laughs> say out the strategy. This is adapted from 2014 Red Sotikara Preliminary Paper 2, question 60. Well, I just put it up that we should use working backwards. And well, probably you want to pause for a while and think about why is it working backwards. Later, we'll reveal to you. And in solving max questions, other than knowing how to draw model, the very important thing is you know, must know what strategy to use. I'm not saying that model is no good, but what I'm saying that you must know. What question is that? What information do you have? What are your enemies? The same thing. I'm asking you to go for battle. You cannot just say, I don't know who my enemy is. You need to know whether it's your enemy good at uh, attack or defense, whatever it is, and then come up with the appropriate strategy. The same thing. Before you even attempt any math questions, you must ask yourself, what is the strategy am I going to use? If you don't have a strategy, I'm sorry to, to say that, <laughs> most likely you'll be defeated by the question. Get started, <laughs> oh no, not, not to be so violent, but it's as good as saying is that. So always think, how are you going to approach the question first? Don't, don't start drawing model whereby you don't even understand. You see that? So let's take a look at this question and wow, take a look at three, this three beautiful women <laughs> that have drawn. Oh, pardon me for the drawing and some cookies that have drawn, but well, to someone who failed her arts in school, I think that is quite an achievement. Although it's just like sticks, triangles and some hair. Well, to me, I'm comparing with myself what I, I can do and what I've done better. I, I think this is something great. Just like you, we are not comparing with geniuses. It's okay that at times we may not scale, score full marks, but we aim to be better of ourselves after some learning. The same thing. Aim for high A's, A star. But it's all right. We, we, we are don't, just don't feel discouraged if we are not as good as someone else. It's all about you, yourself. All right, let's take a look at this question. Rachel, Samantha and Trisha each picked some cookies for sale. At first, Rachel had 500 more cookies than Samantha. Then Rachel sold 230 cookies and baked another 182 cookies. Trisha sold 350 cookies and baked another 140 cookies. Samantha baked more cookies and her number of cookies tripled. In the end, all the three girls had the same number of cookies. Find the total number of cookies the three girls picked at first. Wow, five marks question. Again, you might be terrified. If you are students right here listening to this tutorial, I, I'm not sure. I don't know what is what is the majority of my target audience. I hope the students are listening because this is the, my ultimate achievement. Uh, my ultimate purpose is to reach out to the students. And please, maybe you want to notify your friends, share with them this, and this is how we all learn and make the world a better place. And if students, if you think that your drawing is much, much better than mine, please, could you help me by sending some drawings so that I can just no, <laughs> just kind of paste onto my PowerPoint slides. This is how we learn. This is how we help one another. All right, let's take a look. Wow. So, what do we know? And what the I just said is a working backwards question. Okay. Why? Why do I say it's a working backwards question? Okay. Let's. It's not uh, difficult to identify this hidden clue because why? We are told how the triggers were related in the end. So in the end, all. Oh, the three girls has the same number of cookies. Do you see that? This is the relationship. That is why I'm so particular. Because if I know this relationship, I know I'm not, I'm not saying about whether I have siblings, whether I have cousins or whatever. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about this kind of relationship. I'm talking about how, in terms of the number of cookies, how they are related. If they are related, then I can express everything in units. As simple as that. I'm not talking about cousins. Huh? Please don't miss... Uh, get me wrong. Sometimes students want to think creatively, but in this questions, let's think a bit more logical. What I mean is that we are referring to the number of cookies, how we could relate that, uh, relate them in units. All right, same number. You may want to use one unit. But pause for a second, because we are told that Samantha baked more cookies and the number of cookies tripled. Wow, that is a very important clue. So, so I will go for three units because I don't want to end up oh, later with uh, having one third units or whatever it is. So I want to use three units. Do you see that? 
I'm not stopping you from using one unit, but realize, but remember when you use one unit and you have fractions, you may have a greater chance of committing careless mistake. I'm not saying that you're careless, but still, I just want to play safe. You know, being a very kiasu teacher here, I would advise certain good habits. I would identify oh, what, what a good number to use so that you will not end up with fractions to solve your or to reduce the chance of make you making careless mistake. All right, again, ratio, Samantha, Trisha. I will correct three units because of the word triplet. Agree? So what is the net change? I need to work backwards. So remember, when you work backwards, it's just like you watching a DVD. Or oh, last time we used to watch video tapes, we rewind, right, right? So the last action becomes the first action. So everything will change. Plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus. So if you sold some cookies, you have to add back because at first it wasn't sold. Right? Likewise, if you bake some, you have to minus because at first you didn't bake any. Do you see that? So let's try to solve them one by one as we go along. Okay? So let's use another color. So let's solve Trisha. In this case, the sequence may not play a factor, but in most other Working backwards questions, the sequence play an important role. So you don't anyhow jump the sequence here. Alright, so now Samantha baked more cookies and her number of uh, cookies tripped. So she baked more, obviously, we have to take away. Right? So take away two units because rightfully she should only have one unit. That is why when you times three, when it triplets, it becomes three units. Do you see that? So Samantha only have one unit at first. This is not a very good color. Let's change it again. How about blue? Oh no, guy, can't you blue? Use blue because it's already blue. Okay, so now we work towards Trisha. Trisha sold 350 cookies and baked another 140 cookies. Remember what I just said just now? If you sold, you have to add back. So you add 350, you bake another 140, you have to minus 140. And the resulting change is 210. This is well, next year you go secondary school is actually a positive turn and 10. What it means is that Trisha should have more than what she had. She, had. she should have more at first than what she had in the end. How much more is 210 more? That is the very essence of it. Okay, now uh, this thing we're going to solve for Rachel. Let's use Rachel's. Okay. So what did it say? Okay, Rachel sold 210 cookies and baked another 182 cookies. So again, so you have to plus. So you plus 230 minus 182 and the resulting change is 48, a positive 48. Meaning to say that she should have more than what she had in the end. How much more? 48 more. Do you see that? Now, everything is in terms of units. And we could actually express everything in terms of units at first, the number of cookies at first. So the next question you must always ask yourself, so what's next? How am I going to solve my units? That is the very essence of this question. That is the very essence of all the math questions. You need to solve your units. When you solve your units, it must be oh, something equals to something. Again, an equation. Something equals to something. But you say, oh, nothing. Nothing is equal. Of course, nothing is equal. But the thing is, can you make them equal? Think about it. Alright? If you can make something equal, you can solve it. So right now, let's look at this. You see how we sentence by sentence break it down and solve it. It's actually not difficult. Because I have I have remember students telling me, oh actually this our question is good because they they tell me a lot of things. Yes, she is not wrong. And I thank the student because the more sentences there are, the easier it is for you to solve because everything is Bluntly put it straight across your face. Use it. Use the information. All right. So, at first, ratio had five hundred more cookies than Samantha. So, yeah, uh, think of them as a seesaw uh, scale. Not saying that ratio is uh, fatter or heavier. Oh, please, if I ratio, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in terms of the number of cookies, you are more. You have more. All right. So it is tip to to towards ratio. It's not balanced. How to balance it? Think, if I were to add some cookies, 500 cookies to Samantha, the scale will be balanced. 
right? The seesaw is balanced. Both of them have equal number of cookies. Agree? Isn't it your equation? Isn't it e something equal to something? So we add 500 to reach um, to, to Samantha at first. And Samantha will be 1U plus 500. This is your equation. They both have exactly the same number of cookies expressed in two different ways. Using Rachel and using Samantha. Rachel, 3U plus 48 is equal to 1U plus 500. Soft door, units, cut, draw model. This is how you should look. 3U plus 48, 1U plus 500. Can you see they are equal? So can you see now? What does it mean? Whatever the difference here is your to you. Whatever the difference here is 500 minus 48. So it's as good as surfing, saying that 2u is equal to 452 and 1u. So here, you may want to pause and really continue on your own because it's not typical anymore because you have your 1u, you have the expressions for Rachel, Samantha and Tricia. At first, you know how to go about solving the rest. Check your answer, pause for a while, and I'll show you let's, shortly. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to pause because I don't have time to pause. I already talk a lot. So, answer? Don't be careless. Just add up all these expressions here. Alright, and you'll get your total number of cookies to be 1,840. That's the end of the presentation. I hope you like it. Again, I will appreciate comments, feedback. At least put a thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know. That's the end. Thank you.